will I tell the people? That I carry Chinedu and his father, and they go and die in accident. I'm the one preaching, they, they know me in that local government very well. Say, this is the person that carried Chinedu and his father, and they go and die in accident. But God of choosing, the God of my pastor, hey. the God of my pastor, the wonder working God, the miracle working Jehovah, the one who called my Jew and he never fell him. This God did not fail me. This God did not put me to shame. I return all glory to him. Honor, adoration, praise, worship, and thanksgiving be ascribed unto his holy name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We arrived here when we left Bauchi Wednesday, early in the morning. We arrived here Wednesday. Our jewel was on pulpit. We get to this uh, church bus stop. As we are about to enter, Jewel mentioned his case. You so arrive which time? We arrive here around 12 o'clock to 1. On Thursday? On Thursday. Okay. So as we reach church bus stop, we are about to enter towards the extreme end of the woman's side. Jewel mentioned his case. I look at the father. I say, that is your son's case. He said, yes. Oh, he answered, amen. Right there, Chinedu was able to say amen for the first time. Hey, hey, hey. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when we get to the extreme end of the woman's side, we are about to enter that gate. Jiwo repeated his case. I say amen. The father say amen. Chine do say amen. Hey. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. So we were there on Saturday. God of chosen have started working on him. They call us out for Chinedu to testify because the miracle was not yet perfected. They asked him, who is the person standing beside you? He was not able to say anything. He was just looking. And then they now ask us, say God is working on him. But on Sunday, choose it. Choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On Sunday, on Sunday, choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On Sunday, they call us out. Who is this person standing beside you? Say, it's my father. Wow. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. He answered. <laughs> he answered, he said, my father. What are we here for? He said, we come to receive prayer. Power. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, out of joy, the elder sister, she married somebody, they are living here in Lagos, but they worship in the assemblies of God. So out of joy, immediately after the crusade, the elder sister ran and come and carry them and say, come, 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 come. You will not quickly go like that. Come and spend time in my house. Enjoy first, rest, rest, rest. I can see what this God has done in your life. So I called him, I said, you're supposed to be in the service today. He said, by God's grace, if they didn't leave tomorrow, Thursday, they will come and testify again. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my joy, my joy is that people have been calling me from our local government. What of Chinedu case? Chinedu case, what happened? I say, if you see Chinedu, you will not know him again. Choose and praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. The God Cho of transformation. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the father was so happy, but I told him, you are the testimony of your son. It's my testimony. Because if this God put us to shame, I will be the one to suffer the shame. But this God who never put my joy to shame, this God proved himself. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I say, may his name only and alone be glorified, be magnified in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my Jew. Daddy, I was nobody. I was nobody at all. Nobody. But because God called you and you answer this call, through this call you answer, God made me a somebody. Amen. I've been here going for morning cry in our papa. Get to the extent that somebody took me to police station and our daddy know about the case. I don't know that all that level, 
God will use it to honor me. I joined Chosen. I became pastor not quite long. God remember that labor I labor here in Apapa. And before I know, I was promoted to autonomous pastor. Amen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap so, your hands unto God of the Chosen. My prayer, my prayer for my Jew is that God will maintain him. Amen. God will continue to maintain him. Amen. God will take away stress and tiredness. Amen. That God will maintain him from the crown of his head down to his toes. Amen. God will maintain the hair on his head, the skull, the brain, the eye, the ear, the nose, the mouth, the teeth, the tongue, the throat, the voice, the child, the kidney, the liver, the lungs. God will maintain the entire body system in Jesus' name. Amen. My prayer is that God will renew his youth. Amen. God will grant him his heart desire. Amen. God will continue to advertise him. Amen. God will continue to advance him. Amen. God will continue to promote him spiritually. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Oh my. Once again, for my daddy and his family, I pray heaven at last. Amen. I pray for chosen people worldwide. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. The God of chosen is so great. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Udoko Biechina. I joined Chosen in 2005. I'm living at number 3 BBT Rotimi Street. I want to thank God of Chosen for making me and my family Chosen. Thank you, Lord. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sir, please, I have a son. Okay, sing. I want a short song. I bought to do the nonu. Oh, the other rake and jabuya. Oh, yeah, when I rake a lay. A bean a rake and bean do. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My son says, My mouth is full of songs of praise. Worshipping God for making me to be alive today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God of choosing for what he did for me in this program from sorrow to joy. How he turned all my sorrows to joy. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. My first praise the Lord. My first testimony goes like this. God of choosing deliver me from spirit of sicknesses and death. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I was, praise the Lord, I was down for almost three weeks. I went to test, they said I have a, a, um, a sugar, my sugar is high, my BP is so low, I have a low immune system, my blood 29%, so I have typhoid. All these things came upon me instantly just to de destroy me. And in my dreams, I'll be seeing my late parents. So I've been on treatment, my dear. Yet inside me, as if I'm going, I'm so weak inside. But thank God on Saturday, our daddy mentioned my case. He said that person should say strength three times. I said strength three times. That is how strength came upon me. Power. And now I'm strengthened. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the weaknesses and sicknesses, they have vanished. Amen. I want to praise this God for delivering me from this evil. May his name be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. I still want to appreciate him for taking away evil load upon me. That very start today. I've been carrying this load for 15 years. With uh, cobwebs, lack of favor, with suffering, with sorrow, with afflictions, with a lot of things. But this God, our daddy mentioned my case that was on Saturday. He said, he Command that evil load, cast upon that person from which that came, they commanded to, to leave that person. After that night, 
When I woke up in the dream, we woke up in, in the, on Sunday morning, I noticed that my head was very light. Hmm. I didn't experience that load again. Wow. That is how this God delivered me. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I want to worship him for that. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The name be exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. To confirm what this God did for me. Oh, I don't used to have favor. On Monday, somebody from area I did not expect called me and favor me with 200,000 naira. Power! Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My heart is full of joy. Amen. May that made me to rejoice. May his name be exalted forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my G.O. that God will make him another father of faith of this generation in Jesus' name. Amen. That God will decorate him with joy in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Lord, that God should cut off all the distraction that stand on his way. Amen. I pray heaven at love for him and the entire family in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray heaven at love for every chosen worldwide, me and my family. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I test my blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Just my pray. Praise Amen. The Lord. So, you are telling us now that the sugar that was high, the BP that was low, the immune system that was low, typhoid and malaria, evil load, cobwebs, lack of fever, all of them has gone. Yes, sir, they have gone. Chosen, you, you are completely free. And fever have started following you. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap unto this God of the choosing, the maker of miracles. Thank you, Father. You need to tell people that no matter what they are passing through, there is solution in choosing. And when they have received the solution, they should sit down and enjoy more benefits. Be a choosing, because this is where you have all things. From A to Z. The next testifier. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Brother Fidelis Angum. I reside at uh, Moshavalaje Street, Ago. I come to thank God for what he has done for me, for the healing he gave me last week. I became a chosen from the inception. Okay. I thank God, I and my family, we are chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. And I testify thus. On the 21st of last month, I was hell and hate me. But at night, I went to the bathroom to take my bath. Immediately, I poured water on my body. I began to feel cold. I repeated it. It became worse. I quickly dried my body and went inside. I went to bed. I covered myself with a... I began to feel a fever. I covered myself with a wrapper. Then I slept off. In the midnight, I saw myself urinating. I went, to, I went out for a urination up to 11, 12 times that night. And each time I urinated, I was having pain. I, had, I experienced an excruciating pain in my body, in my private parts. And I didn't know that because it was night. I didn't know that each time the pain came, blood followed. Then in the morning, Monday, it continued. Then I was, when I urinated, I will experience uh, that pain and the blood will come. Then it continued. On Tuesday, I came here for a uh, Tuesday service. The pastor was not around that day. I could not find myself. I mean, I couldn't uh, hold myself. I was very, very weak. And each time I... I mean, I started, the, the urination started again. Before I could get to the restroom, I had messed myself up. Mm. And it was like that. And each time I uh, urinated, and the pains will come, the blood will come. Then on the 31st of last month, that day, 
it was all through blood what I was urinating. Then I endured it first, which was on Thursday. I came to service. Pastor mentioned that the constant urinating, he canceled it. I Amen. It. Then he canceled that somebody was a uh, somebody was a stolen blood. I claimed it. I said, passing out blood, either through the mouth or through the anus or through the private part. So I claimed it. So that Thursday did not pass me by. Hmm. So when I got to him, the blood ceased. Power! The blood ceased. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. The blood ceased and the pain reduced. And the constant urinating reduced. Instead of uh, 12 to 15 times every night, it came down to five times. And I have been regulating it till now. I've gotten my healing. Amen. I two times at night. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the blood has ceased and the pains have also ceased. I give God the glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's my testimony. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. This is clear case of deliverance from death. I pray for my pastor, heaven at last. Amen. I pray that God will strengthen him spiritually and physically. Amen. That God will preserve him, preserve his household. Amen. And all the chosen members all over the world. I pray heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Thank you. Throughout the period of this urinating and uh, urinating frequently and urinating blood, did you go to hospital for any checkups? Sorry, yes, I did. I, it was on that first uh, 31st that I went to hospital. So they carried out tests. What did you, they say was wrong? So I didn't collect the, the result that same day. It was uh, this Friday, last Friday, that I went to collect the results. And they said that I had a staph uh, infection and blood infection. Okay. Yes. That was what they discovered. Yes. But on that Thursday, 1st of February, yeah. as Geo ministered, he spotted your case and yeah. cancelled it. Yes. And that was how all of them stopped. Yeah, that's, that was See, today. how all of them stopped. You Shall know. we clap unto God and appreciate him? <laughs> it is in the Lord's choosing that what God said in his word is practicalized. Devil come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give life. You will see it practicalized in the Lord's choosing. People that the enemy has planned to kill them. As soon as they step into choosing, their story will change. And instead of dying, they will begin to live and they live abundantly. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate Him? Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Brother Benjamin Tukwemeko Keke. I reside here and uh, worship in London headquarters. Thank you, Lord. My brethren, I started choosing here in this altar 2005. Amen. Moderator, please, can I let that song sing? I come to thank you, the God of choosing. I come to thank you for what you have done. Amen. I have to thank you, Almighty Jesus. I come to thank you for what you have done. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brethren. Please, you people to help me to thank God. Today, exactly today, is the 25 years of my marriage. Amen. February 13, 
February 13, 2019. And it's not easy. 2009. 2009. Okay. 2099. 99. Or is it 1999? 1999. 1999. Sorry, 1999. Aha. I'm so excited because it's not easy. In this journey in this marriage, I was barren almost six years. I waited 1999 and my first issue came after the pen tax. The joint choose in 2005. Five. And in that 2005, God did not pass me by. Hmm. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that child, God, that gave me that 2005, is now in Nottingham University in England. It's not what? It's in Nottingham University in England. Oh, Inter Nottingham University. Nottingham University. It's Inter University last year. Clap your hands on the God of the Chosen. And the girl that followed in 2008, after three years, that is now in from C6, preparing to enter university again. So Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. My joy to be here present this hour is to thank this God. It's not easy living in our blood with your children. And I thank God today that all my family we are choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. My advice for you people, newcomers, and the men, those that expect it, this God that never disappoint our G.O. We never disappoint you. Amen. That whatever you want this God to do for you, be patient. Because I know that time, what it is like. When my wife came back, she would start crying, start telling me about, look at how this, look at how that. But it's patient. And today now, as I said the first one now is in university the second one now is preparing to go to university and we are all living happily and worshiping god in our headquarters in uk amen thank you father my prayer for our go is that this god that called him this God will not disappoint him. Amen. And his children will be like father, like son, and Amen. daughters. Amen. And us that follow, God will make us to be obedient. Amen. And follow the two step. And he will lead us all to heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish him and all and his household and all the chosen pastors and the UK chosen and all the chosen worldwide heaven at last in Jesus name Amen Choosing, praise the Lord Hallelujah let's clap unto God and appreciate him praise the Lord The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Mirambe Uche. I reside at VGDK Street number 30. I want to thank God and appreciate him for making me a chosen. Thank you, Lord. Moderator, please. I have a song to render. Sing. God of choosing, you are so good. God of choosing, you are so good. God of choosing, so good. God of choosing, immortality, man. Oh, Lion of Judah. Oh, Lory, Lory, Oh, Lory, Lory, Immortality, man. 
Hallelujah. I have two testimonies to share. My testimony goes thus. Precisely three months ago, my body was down. I was not in myself. So I came to service when our daddy was praying. He said, there is a lady here. You are not feeling fine. When people ask you what is wrong, you will not be able to explain. But I assign an angel to you, and angels will visit you this night. And I claimed it. When I got home that night, in my dream, I saw a hand was stretched to me. I was not seeing the body, I was only seeing a hand that was stretched to me. When I looked inside the hand, I saw Prasitamor. When I looked again, it was written boldly on the Prasitamor, God. Written what? God, God. G O D. Yeah, with capital letter. Wow. It was written boldly on it, and I quickly opened my mouth. The hand moved straight and put it and dropped the parasite and more inside my mouth. Amen. And suddenly, water appeared from nowhere, and I swallowed the parasite and more. Hmm. Choosing praise the Lord. Angelic medical attendance. Since that day till now, those troubles, those afflictions, Vanish. Clap your hands on the God of the choosing. My second testimony. On Friday, I received a sack letter from my working place. When I received that sack letter, it looked as if I should cry. I said, No, I am a choosing. Correct. I went home with the sack letter. Then I remember we have a crusade. The first day of that crusade on Saturday, I tabled the sack letter before the God of choosing. Say, Father, you are turning sorrows to joy. This sack letter must be reversed and it must be canceled. Amen. When our daddy was praying, he said, gather all the things that is causing you sorrow. Be them bye-bye. I said, very good. Mm. And I stood, I said, sack later, you are in sorrow to me. I bid you bye-bye in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, you know what happened. We are listening. God of choosing is so great. He is so great. When I, immediately, I set my feet inside my parlor, my phone rang. When I picked it, it was my boss. He said, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The sack letter has been cancelled. Come and resume your work. Hey, hey, hey. Sorrow is over, sorrow is over, sorrow is over. Sorrow is over. Sorrow is over. Choosing people, sorrow is over. I say 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 choosing people. I say sorrow is over. 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 Sorrow is over. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. My bedroom, that is how my sorrow was turned to joy. Amen. And my work was given back to me. I am here to appreciate the God of my pastor, the only good God, the wonder working God, the I am that I am, the ancient of days, the covenant keeping God. I say, he that have done this, him alone, alone, be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my daddy, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. And Amen. mommy and the children, me and my family, and the choosing worldwide, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Please. 
Help me to sing this song that I'm hearing in my ear. Sorrow turn to joy, sorrow turn to joy. When you visit the choosing, sorrow turn to joy. Sorrow turn to joy, sorrow turn to joy. When you visit the choosing, sorrow turn to joy. When you visit the chosen, when you visit the chosen, when you table your matter, when you visit the chosen, when you call the God, when you visit the chosen, sorrow down to joy. Praise the Lord. This God of choosing is so great. On Friday, they gave her a letter of sorrow. And on Saturday, she tabled it before the God of choosing in the program from sorrow to joy. And that same day, the God of choosing put it in the mouth of his servant and he canceled it. And by Monday, they said, come. No, that same day. That same day, the director that sacked her called her and said, I am sorry. Come back and resume work. Hey! Indeed, sorrow turned to joy. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. The next testifier. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Okudiri Onyechubu. I joined this great movement in the year 2019, but I become a born again in 2021. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My first testimony goes like this. I was once a sinner, a liar, a talkative, gossip, all manner of things. I was once doing this, wearing trousers. In fact, I don't know how I'm going to explain it, but I'm into air dressing. That is doing my work. So when I joined this great movement, I have been doing it over eight years. I'm making hairs, eyelashes, all sorts of things, manicure, pedicure, and also nails. So when I joined this great movement, our pastor always preached to me. I, had a, I always had the direct message of God. But when I went home, because what I was, the kind of business I'm doing, I said, ha, ah, I cannot continue with the church. Oh, because if I continue with the church, I will not be doing it. I will not be doing this work again. So this thing has been ringing in my mind. But whenever I say that I want to quit the job, that is when I will become more serious to it. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it happens one day in my liberation, I saw a hefty man. They were on suit with ties. So when I saw them, they were many. I can't even count them in my dream. They were carrying speakers on their head and they were singing. They were singing, I am a chosen people, we are a chosen people. I am a chosen people, we are a chosen people. A peculiar people, they were singing all these things, shout, shouting it. So when I heard it, I was running away from them. I ran away and ran into a vehicle. The vehicle, the, the Rose Rose vehicle that I ran into. When I entered that vehicle, there was no one into that vehicle. But when I turned around, I found out that a lot of men, they were so in suit again. They begin to shout out the same song. I said, what does this mean? What is happening? I, I, when I entered, I didn't see anybody in this vehicle. Now, there are a lot of people, they were sitting there. Even I myself, I was not sitting, I was standing up. I said, what is happening? They were singing the same song. They sing the same song and shout and shout. I said, oh, what is happening? What is happening? I was screaming and wake up physically. When I wake up, I thought it is all. When I wake up, the song begins to sing. In fact, I begin to hear the same song, begin to hear the same song. I say, what is this? I begin, I follow them and sing the song. Even in my physical world, I begin to sing the song. I say, we are choosing people. 
choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But when I had such um, that revelation, I didn't even put it in practice. I continue what the work I'm doing. So one fateful day during December time during season. So I was in my working place. I have did a lot of people. So one in the evening, in the night, let me say something around 7.30 because it's almost night. So a lady came to my shop. He wanted to fix eyelashes. So as I was fixing the eyelashes, the lady began to scream. I said, why are you screaming? He said, you are pouring sand on my eyes. Ah. I said, how come? I am fixing you today is not the first time I'm doing this. I've done this almost eight years. So why am I pouring sand on your eyes? I don't have any sand. She checked my hand, did not see anything, but she see only her eyelashes in my hand. And choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as I was doing that, she, she screamed and screamed and screamed on top of her voice. I now got annoyed and left her. I now got annoyed and left her. She even told me to leave her. In fact, I should leave her. I should not do her again. I should not do her again. So when she said that, I said, what is happening? It's not up to five months. The loof, it's not up to five minutes. The loof of my shop begin to shake. I say, ah, I say, I begin to shout, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. The loof of my house begin to shake heavily. I say, what is happening? What is happening? So after that encounter, choose and praise the Lord. Is it in the dream or physical? Not in the dream, in physical world. Physical? Yes, it's not in the dream. So that day, I feared this God at last. In fact, I feared this God at flesh. So from that day, I decided within myself, there is nothing like fishing again. I'm not going to be fishing any person. I'm not going to be doing it. So in that December, people were coming and say, ah, you did this, people, they did it, and this one, this one. Even in the, in the time, the particular time, 23 December, you said that you don't want to fish. Even you did it from morning and you don't want to do it again. So I say, I am tired. They say, why? I say, the church I'm going rejected it. They say, ah, forget about it. Even our church, they reject it. But, ha, ah, but would you eat? I say, I cannot do it. I don't want to disobey anymore. So, I was saying such thing on throughout that December season. I say, God, people was coming and going. I, I say, God, I'm not more doing anything. I am not be, I'm doing anything. So, I say, God of choosing, please. Because I have decided not to do this, make a way for me. Choose and mm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So uh, when I say this, but there was something again that left in me because I still put on earrings. I say, okay, I will not be putting big, big earrings. Let me go on in the little full stop. Let me be doing that one. Nobody will notice it. I don't know that God in heaven is even watching me. So one fateful day in my revelation, I saw the dad, our daddy, G.O., the God of our G.O. She appeared to me. So when, she appeared, when he appeared to me, he said to me, he was so annoyed to me. He looked at me. He was very annoyed with me. Ha! I didn't even say anything. He said, obedience is better than sacrifice. He gave me a quotation. He said, First Peter 2 verse 9. And the other time that I had, though I have a cancer, there is a quotation they gave me that, that place. So when, no, he gave a quotation. That quotation is because of the, the choosing, when they were singing choosing people. That was the first Peter 2 verse 9 that they, he gave it to me. So in this particular one, he said something, obedient is better than sacrifice. That's the word he told me. So when I woke up in the morning, I was going to my shop. I found out, no, and to be sincere, I was going to my shop. I'm not doing anything again. Everything in my shop, I've already removed. Nothing again in my shop. But I always enter into that place. I will only come into that place. Even when I will enter into that shop, people will be coming and be praising me, praising that shop and asking me, are you packing out? If you are packing out, they lease the shop for us. I said, in fact, uttering a word to her, a voice came to me, obey before sacrifice. Ha! I said, ah. Immediately she told me that I went to my shop shamefully. I went there and removed it. From that day, I cancel everything. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. My second testifier. So when there was one day when I entered, when I went, I entered that chosen new newry. So in year 2020. Our pastor made him say something because I entered during 2019. That 2019 was the end in December. During, in fact, they're having program then. 
So that was the time I entered that church. But in 2021, our daddy, he traveled, and when he came back, he told us that there is a word that our daddy G.O. used to say. He said that if you be a chosen, and you be in the chosen for six years, if you did not, and in fact, if you did not have any evidence to show, shake yourself. So when he said that, the day he said, he said, go and mark this date. If you step up to, from now to six months, if you didn't see any evidence, my dear, shake yourself. I went and write it somewhere in my book. I said, ha, you people have said it again, no? Because I normally like to hold someone. I saw, I saw this word, I will hold it, let me see. If this God do something for me, do something, in fact, for me, hey, I will know that this God is real. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So one faithful day, our landlord called one of her brethren here. He said, come, because in our French country, not, you, um, it's hard, the language is, in fact, let me put it down. So he called someone that know how to speak the French very well. He said to person, please, I want you to reach these people. They are my tenants, but I want to favor them. So the person said, ha, they never had this kind of thing, no. The person is from another region. So the man said it, immediately the person, the person that he sent come to us and say, look at what you, the uh, landlord say. He said that you want to favor you people. Brethren, do you know what? Tell us. God of choosing is so great. God of choosing favor us with our landlord with half a million choosing. Praise the Lord. How many of you? How many only of you? Me, only me, my husband. Half a million. Oh, it's only you and your husband that are tenants there. Not only me. We have a no. We have you know. It's from Basila branch. We just developed that branch. It's not that. It's much. Where? Are, which place are you talking about? Benin Republic Basila branch. Benin Republic. Uh, Basila branch. Basina branch. Yes, sir. And it is only it is you and your husband that landed favor with half a million. Yes, sir. Is it the place we are living now? In the place you are living. Yes. You are supposed to be paying rent to him. Yeah. No one. He gave. Yes, we supposed to be. He's our landlord. And now he came yes. and gave you money. Uh, half a million. Yes, sir. Five hundred thousand. Ah, ah. Hey, this God of choosing Ababa. God of choosing Ababa. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It does not end there. In fact, the, the favor seems like it has been troubling our landlord. He came again in the 2000, in, because this thing happened through, during coronavirus in 2020. So in 2021, in January, there is something that happens to us. Because when you decide to serve God, you will face a counter, but yet God will give you victory. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the one faithful morning, we come to our shop, we found out that the, there is motor that ran into that place. But glory be to God that we have already gone home. Nobody was there when this thing happened. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It damaged everything. But after in that day, same day, the landlord come, he looks at our shop, he said, How oh, sorry, do smile, just say speak it in the French. After saying it, he went out. He now called my husband and said, From today on when I want you people to be paying me half, in fact, fifty percent of my house rent. Choose him, praise the Lord. Uh, it does happen again. Fifty percent of what you have been paying before. Is what he now made you to be paying. Yes. Wow. Brethren, who can do this type of miracle? Only God of choosing I have seen does this type of miracle. Why not other people are increasing rent every day? When God of choosing step into the matter, he will ask choosing people, you either pay half or pay nothing. I have not seen it anywhere. Only in choosing. Clap your hands unto this God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What I'm talking about is a new house. We are the first people that entered into that compound. Choosing, praise the Lord. Wow. So, my third, my third testimony. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. Thank you, Father. Just because you obeyed God. Look at the blessing that he has opened for you. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
my third, my last testimony for the day. <laughs> this one is about my health. In 2020, I noticed that I'm having, in fact, I don't know the kind of sickness, but when I want to urinate, I'll be urinating a blood. And that blood will be very thick. And before I will urinate, the thing will be so painful. So the thing continues with me. I said, ah, this kind of thing, I am now a trisino, you have no right over this body. So every time I keep on saying it, whenever the thing comes, in fact, throughout all the night, the thing will trouble me. In the morning, the thing will disappear. But I can't even walk. When I, wa I wanted to walk, I would be bowing. I would be bowing down as an old woman. I say, which kind of disease is this one? What is happening to me? So my husband told me, Let, um, let's go for a shake up so that you will know exactly what is happening to you. I say, I'm not going to anywhere because I have joined this great, jo I've gone, I've joined this great movement. And I know, I have seen a lot of testimony they are saying. They say that a woman that without vagina, is do this this one and that I, I was saying it to him i say if they are doing this kind of thing let them perform it into my body let me also testify over it choosing praise the lord hallelujah so when he told me that he now left me because when the thing comes uh, i cannot in fact i will not have myself i will cry and pray from morning to night but let that god of choosing saw me through choosing praise the lord hallelujah so this thing was happening to me it lasted in my body two years two good years, the thing has been happening and the, if I want to renate it's every five, five minutes, it's not up to five, five minutes because if I renate now, I'm coming out from the toilet, I'll go back again, the thing has been disturbing me and whenever the thing starts, I will not go out because of the disturbance. So this thing happened in 2023, it started in 2020, but in 2023, one day I was testifying. So I was testifying what the God of choosing did for me. I didn't even remember that I have something like that. So when I, this thing was happening to me, I was testifying to my brethren. The voice come to me, this thing in your body, do you still notice it? I had the voice, I turned around, nobody was speaking to me. I now say, oh, please, please, I have another testimony. That uh, this thing, there is something that happened to me before. Immediately, I said it, I said, I am doing this, and now I am healed. I don't even know how the thing disappeared. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. This is the testimony of choosing people. So I thank this God that have done this to me, not because I merit it, not because I deserve it, but because of his love and infinite mercy that kept me to this day and make me to know this great movement. In fact, I am happy that I am a chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Daddy, I'm not worthy to pray for you, but only thing I will say that heaven at last, which we know that you have already in heaven, that Amen. heaven at last shall be your portion and your family. All Amen. the choosing worldwide, heaven at last, me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing his first class, choosing praise the Lord. Wow. <laughs> Obedience brings blessing. Is the word of our pastor. Look at the multitude of blessings the obedience has brought. It pays to obey. Try to be a choosing and be obedient, and then you too will be testifying in Jesus' name. This is not the first time we are hearing this type of testimony that they knew when the sickness came but when they started attending choosing and presented the matter all of a sudden they didn't know when this the disease or the problem disappeared this has been the testimony of choosing people the problem will go without any announcement but when it came it becomes a messenger to bring people to choosing but once the our pastor said when the messenger has finished delivering his message, all he has to do is to go away. And that is the testimony you are hearing. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. By the special grace of God, my name is uh, Brother Festus Ezechuku Irokwe. Here in Nigeria, I'm living at uh, number 81, Old Otta Road. By the special grace of God, I joined this ministry in the year 2007 through a revelation. After the program to become a Reverend Father failed, 
in the dream god called me three times go and join lord choosing after i became distressed for a little while mm. a long while immediately i joined the lord choosing i saw why god said go and join the lord choosing Choose, praise the lord hallelujah but the special grace of god today i am the autonomous coordinator of Damanko Branch Church at Uti Region in Republic of Ghana. Clap your hands unto God of the Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank Chosen you, Lord. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. My first testimony, brethren, is a revelation. So this revelation, I had it after one of our Tuesday services over here. So, after the service of that day, in the night, I prayed and slept. While in the dream, I saw myself in our new auditorium at the extreme, at the extreme of the other end. There we were having a vigil, very powerful vigil was going on. And I was in that vision. At the peak of that uh, vision, the heaven got opened. Immediately I saw 12 huge men, tall and huge, with big barbs that reach, touches the ground. They started coming down. When they touched the ground, I count them, they were 12 in number. They marched, they formed a line, and they started coming in to meet us, the place where we are having the vision. When they reached the place where we are having the vision, one man he came to me and called me my name. He said, Brother Festus, do you know these people? I said no. He said, these are the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. They were all in white sutan, pure white, immaculate. He took me nearer to them. He said, this is Peter. This is Paul. This is Andrew. This is Philip. This is Bartholomew. He mentioned their 12 names. Uh -huh. Immediately, all of them marched in a line to our daddy's pulpit altar. Let's hear him out. When they reached there, they entered. They surrounded the altar. Peter went to our daddy's pulpit. The first word he may said was, here is our altar. Mm. Immediately, he opened his Bible and he mentioned Acts of the Apostle, chapter 3, verse 6. In the dream, I implored, I opened my Bible also. There was where Jesus met the lame man on the beautiful gate and said, In the name of Jesus, I have neither gold nor silver. Rise up and walk. Immediately, Peter was preaching. Brethren, those that were crippled in the, in the auditorium, all of them started walking. Walking. Those that were blind, they started seeing. Everywhere was hectic. People were rejoicing, clapping hands, shouting, saying, what type of God is this? Peter told them, if you believe what our, our servant is telling you here, you will see more than this. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So at that point, 
Jubilation was going on. What I saw was a great lightning. Bam, 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 bam. Immediately I wake up. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is my first testimony. Clap your hands unto God of the truth. My second testimony is this. By May last year, our national coordinator in Ghana called us and told us that we are going for a conference at Nigeria. Every pastor, you have to prepare. So in obedience, we prepared, I prepared also. The day I am to leave Ghana back to Nigeria, in the morning like this, I walked and dressed, took one of my aprons and, and walked. While packing my luggages, a, a voice told me in my room, take the other apron and put inside your bag. I started contemplating within myself, why should I take another apron? Thereby I am wearing this. I didn't take it. I left to my room, locked the door. On reaching to my gate, because where I'm living is fenced and it has a gate. A hand tapped me on head. Immediately that hand tapped me on my head. I heard a voice. Go and take that to your apron. I left and went back to my room, opened the door, and took that apron and put it inside my bag. I zoomed off for the channel. On reaching to Ghana border with Togo, I crossed to Ghana, passed the immigration process, entered Togo. With them there with the immigration officer, there, who is to scream me? There was uh, two soldiers also there. Immediately they opened my bag. I opened my bag for them, for them to check. This my apron was on top of my clothes. One of the soldiers beside the beside the immigration officer saw it and took it. He started looking on it because I know he, he cannot read English. I asked him in French because I speak French. He said no. So I explained it, what was written on that apron to him. That was God has the answer. I explained it to him in French. He called me. He said, Pastor, are you a pastor? I said, yes. Yes, I'm pastor. This year cloth was given to me last week in the dream. Uh? <laughs> Say it again. He said, Pastor, this year cloth was given to me in the dream last week. Hey! God of choosing, I fear you. He said, in the dream, I saw a group of people wearing this cloth. They were dancing, clapping hands, rejoicing. One of them came to me and gave me this cloth to wear. Uh -huh. I collected it from him and they wore it. Pastor, since that day I collected, I wear this cloth. There are some women that used to come to sleep with me every day in the dream. And also, there was a sickness headache that I used to have all the time. Since that day, I wear this year cloth. In the dream, oh. In the dream. Since that day, I wear this year cloth. Those uh, headache, I have not seen it again. All the women... Wait, let him finish. All the women that were sleeping all with him. All the women 
that used to come to me, I sleep with them, and then when I sleep with them, I wake up, I will become sick, sickness will hold me. He said, I have, they have not come again. Hey! Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. This God of chosen is so great. He, he said, two days later, after I wear this your cloth, one of them came to me, one of the women came to me and asked me, have you started wearing this cloth? He said, yes. He said, we are not going to come to you again. Hey, hey, hey. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. So, since that day, they have not come to me again. And that headache, I have not seen it again. Wow. The other soldier man, they are because they were two. He said, Pastor, me, I used to have this kind of problem. Oh, I beg, give me this your cloth. I said, No. The first person, the first person will take it. I gave it to him. But by then already he has taken it. He, so didn't, he didn't even release it at all. Sir? He was not willing to release it to you again. No, no, no. He, he has already taken it. He said, this one is my own. <laughs> Clap your hands on the God of the choosing. Wow. So, the other one there started begging me, Pastor, I beg, bring, which day will you bring my own? It's okay. Ah. And though before that, I preached to them and make them to know about the Lord choosing. And they cancel them concerning the apron, mm -hmm. how to use it for it to work. I told them what and what they will not be doing so that this apron will be working for them. So the other soldier, he said again, Pastor, I used to see some people at Lome who always wear this cloth so you are one of them i said yes so he begged me to bring to them so when i came back last year on that career i called it two some here even my autonomous branch at alabado they bought some for me and gave me because i gave this testimony over there they bought some apron to me and gave to me when i was going on reaching there Unfortunately, I didn't see them again. Yeah. I met the immigration officer there and explained to him. He said he don't know them. And uh, you know they always change them from place to place. Yes. I begged him to collect it and uh, ask them, one of them, any one of them that are requesting for it. He said he can't take it. It's okay. So, brethren, this is my second testimony clap your hands unto god of the chosen clap your hands unto god of the chosen we have something in choosing that is so great at this juncture brethren i pray for our daddy in the lord of heaven at last amen his family heaven at last amen all the choosing pastors worldwide I pray for them God's protection and Amen. guidance because it's not easy outside. Here is the heaven. It's not easy outside. Mm. Please pray for us. Amen. We are passing a lot of things that if it is not that the grace of this ministry is in us, it is, it is not easy. But by the grace of God, it is easy with us. Amen. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for you all long life and prosperity amen by this time next year you all will be here to hear another testimony amen in the name of jesus christ amen thank you all and god bless you amen let's clap on to god and appreciate him wow before we take second to the last testifier let me take this announcement all in groups on two sisters will be having